my flight from Lima. Goody! Good thing I don't have any appointments today. Here's all I can say. If you want to learn Haitian, move to Peru. Here we are, it's fucking packed. We're in Lima, finally made it here after I almost got kidnapped uh, by some crazy dude that was waiting for just small little gringos like me who didn't know shit. Yeah, so here's the story of how I almost got kidnapped. Um, it might have not been that aggressive, but so my flight from Tarapota to Lima got delayed. And so because of the delay, I missed my connecting flight from Lima to Cusco. So as soon as I got off the airplane and I came down to go to Latam to get a new ticket rebooked, a guy from Latam with a um, with like a Latam badge and everything, he like grabs me by the arm and he's like, let me see your ticket. So I showed him, I explained the situation. I was like, I need a new ticket because my flight got delayed. So I missed this layover. He's like, you need to come with me and rebook your ticket. Um, and we need to do it now, basically. And that was like a first signal to me that I was like, what, where, what, what am I, like, where am I going? So like we went outside of the airport, around the corner on the block. And the entire time I kept asking him like, 
why are you only taking me? Like, where is everybody from the uh, from the flight? I can't be the only one. Everything happened so fast, though, that it was like um, I just kept following him to see like where the fuck am I going? There was there was a thought that was like this guy's kidnapping me, <laughs> but I was like it's all cool, <laughs> like you know. So I follow him into this office, and in this office, it's like this really shitty, janky looking office with like Latam Airlines and like Sky Airlines, and um, there was another airlines that was wrapped around. And there was like four desks, four reps that were like working behind a computer. And this guy is like telling me how I need to rebook another ticket and it's going to cost me $287 to book my connecting flight from Lima to Cusco. Yeah. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I shouldn't have to pay anything because it was Latam's fault, which is the airline, that my flight was delayed. That's why I missed my connecting flight. And so he kept pushing. He's like, no, like, look, if I get on the phone right now with Latam and like um, with the higher ups, basically, they're going to tell you the same thing. And I was like, that's freaking bullshit, dude. Like no airline is going to charge their passenger for something that was their fault. Like this was clearly your fault. So I told him, I was like, everything about this smells like a scam. And like the dude could actually speak English. So that's why I was able to talk to him in English. And I was like, dude, this is a scam. Like you're scamming me. This is like absolute bullshit. So like I just got up and I like left and I walked back to the airport. Meanwhile, I was like looking on my app because I booked my flight through Kiwi. Kiwi.com is like usually legit, but I usually buy like the economy flight. And so on the economy flight, it said that I had to rebook my flight, which is bullshit too, because it wasn't my fault. I didn't miss the flight because of me. I missed my connecting flight because of Latam. So I went to Latam to the correct place in the airport. Never leave an airport. Never leave the fucking airport. If your flight is is delayed or for any other reason, do not follow anybody outside of the airport. It is a scam. Um, and yeah, you know what? And very likely I could have been shoved into a back of a fucking van, like anything's possible. So at this point, the dude was like really aggressive too. You know, he like showed me his badge and everything. And he was like, yeah, this is from Latam. I'm from Latam and I work here. And like, this is my name. Like, look at my badge, you know? And, and then I later like, a real Latam rep, I asked her behind the counter and I was like, yo, like the guy just like grabbed me and like told me to follow him to rebook my ticket. And she was like, oh yeah, no, that's that's not one of our employees. And I was like, isn't this like illegal? Like that's a fucking scam, right? And she's like, it is illegal. She's like, but security's not gonna do anything about it. So be careful out there, especially to all my ladies. Um, if you look white and you're small and you got long hair and you look like a girl, then be very careful out there because they are vultures. Like, and I feel like the scams are getting more sophisticated because I, I would have not fallen for this. Like, what the fuck? I know better. I know better. And this was just a really great example for me to like follow my intuition and like really listen to my intuition no matter if someone is grabbing my arm or not. Like, I should have fucking yelled because that's what I should have done. Yeah, I should have just started screaming like bloody murder. <laughs> but anyways, I'm now I'm waiting for my my flight to Cusco. They got me on the next one, which is boarding in about 20 minutes. Um, so I will be landing just honestly like a couple hours later than what I should have landed. Um, I should have landed at like 3:15, so I'm gonna be landing around five. The big mercado is gonna be closed, but I have an Airbnb that I can drop my shit off and go eat some meat yeah that's what i want i want meat that's another thing like being a carnivore and traveling is a lot more difficult because like they have all of these like little pop-up shops that sell all of these like snacks and like all this garbage shit that's not actually food it has zero nutrition value in there so i am a lot more like firm in just waiting until my meal at the end of the day like i'm hungry i'm really hungry but i know that i'm not gonna die from this hunger you know like i'm more than okay with just waiting for something that is going to fill me up with really good nutrition and like it's gonna be dense so i'm gonna treat myself to an alpaca steak because like fuck yeah dude why not instead of shoving nuts and chips and cookies and sodas down my throat that's only going to trick my brain into thinking that I'm no longer hungry because it satisfies the sweet tooth or it satisfies the gum or, you know, your taste buds, but your body is still going to be malnourished because it's not real food. Anyways, I'm done ranting.
<laughs> it certainly says so much about you when you have a suitcase that is the size of a backpack and you decide to roll it rather than wear it as a backpack. It just says so much about you as a person. Landed in cold, cold pizza. I changed, put on layers. starving so I'm gonna buy this little piece of meat right here this one and then that one it's cow she's warming it up for me oh no solamente carne si sí, gracias gracias yummy look at this it's my little snack mm. it's good it was the first time I actually bought meat from like um, a street venue, but I'm starving right now because there is no food for me to eat in an airport. So this is my snack. Jesus, people drive. Look at that. Fucking gorgeous, guys. Even though they're more than willing to run over a pedestrian. Almost there. My hostel should be here on the right. And then I get to go enjoy a delicious alpaca steak. There she is. Just gotta go into this semi-creepy alley to get to. Find it. Hola. Cusco is so magical at night. Cause it's like cold, but it also has got palm trees. I think, I think I remember seeing a palm tree here. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of PSAC. I am off to find my alpaca steakhouse. <laughs> and we got Jesus over there. Shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> Full of goodies. Owner of the shop, right there. Main plaza looking fine like always. I did miss Cusco. I didn't realize how much I missed Cusco and how much I missed this cooler weather. This is the 
famous tree with the rocks. These are like ancient rocks that nobody knows how they lasered them so perfectly in. Another beautiful tree. Still going the right way? Came from the... We're going this way. Many different alpaca stores all over. We made it. This is Uchu. Doesn't look like much, but there's a real fancy restaurant through those doors. Mm -hmm. Got a table for one. Love it. Would you just look at that? This is the alpaca. And this is the mahi mahi. Okay. I touched I touched the hot stone. Nice. I'm so happy. I didn't take a bite, so I'm gonna cook it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna dump it into a buttery sauce. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. the best maki maki or the best alpaca. So I want to keep it medium rare. So I took it off the fire. Mm. Alpaca is the softest meat I have ever eaten. most amazing chocolate and they have this hundred percent chocolate that I bought two of because though I eat salt and meat um, I do enjoy a hundred percent chocolate with no sugar and this place has like the best kind so it's absolutely amazing like she let me try it and yeah this is it I'm already eating it with some cocoa milk or some cocoa tea because I'm getting altitude sickness <laughs> sat down to enjoy my coco leaf or coca coca tea and this bitter ass chocolate mm -hmm. oh my goodness I understand this doesn't look like much on video but this is so awesome it's like big ass mountain with people living all over it Such a sweet baby. Sleeping on someone's doorstep. Drunk dude coming. Back into my semi creepy alley. Ooh, I am on the top floor. It's a three-story building. Maybe even four. Damn. I lost track of all the stairs that I passed. Quite a view. But tomorrow's gonna be really impressive. Beautiful murals. And then... I climb another story or another staircase very steep almost like a tree house and my room is here I took off my bandage this is what my burn looks like it's starting to itch so I know it's healing oh, I just hope it doesn't scar it looks gnarly really gnarly chilling in the rooftop and I guess I'm gonna call it a night. 
I'd say all in all, today was a very successful day. Got some gifts bought, ate some really delicious 100% bitter chocolate. This stuff is so bitter, it makes your tongue turn. Absolutely amazing. Drank some coca tea because of the high altitude, otherwise my head starts hurting. Um, it definitely kicked my butt. Going from a lower elevation to such high altitude, um, my body my body feels the altitude for sure. So I got altitude sickness. Mmm. So fun. And you know, experiencing what I experienced today at the airport where the guy pretending to be a um an airline worker, Latam is the airlines, where he pretended to be a Latam worker and just like grabbed me by the arm and was like, show me your ticket because I was going from the arrivals and back into the departures because I had a connecting flight, but I needed a new flight because my first flight was delayed. So that's why I was late to boarding the second flight. And I knew that the airlines, it's their fault. So they're supposed to cover it. And this guy just like grabbed me by the arm in uniform and everything and dragged me outside said that i needed to go to their corporate office to buy a new ticket or you know i did understand him correctly because i was like there's no way this guy's telling me i need to buy a new ticket i'm like the fuck and there was a thought that occurred because we had to go outside of the airport around the block to their corporate office and this corporate office was like this really sketchy sus looking building with like four desks and it's like really shitty looking you know what I mean and it had like Latam stickers all over the place and like sky stickers all over the place and they continued to tell me that I needed to buy a new ticket where I was like why when this isn't my fault this is Latam's fault and this guy was like, well, if we get on the phone with Latam, you know, they're the specialists or whatever, or like the higher ups, they're going to tell you the same thing. And when he quoted me a flight that I needed to buy in order to be on a flight in two hours, $287, I was like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, you guys are scamming me. And as soon as I said that, he was like, kind of backed off a little bit and I was like stop talking I was like I'm gonna look on my phone and then he just completely like he told me okay you need to leave because there's there's people behind you and um yeah it could have been a lot worse I could have been thrown into the back of a jeep and just reflecting back on this situation I'm really grateful that my intuition was telling me like something was off because then I talked to a real Latam representative and I told her about this. I was like, dude, there's like a guy that's standing out there doing this. She's like, yeah, I know. Um, I was like, isn't this illegal? And she's like, it is, but security's not gonna do anything about it. And I was like, what the fuck, man? So I'm really grateful that my intuition was really strong and that I didn't get fooled. But let me tell you something, these scamming techniques are getting out of control like i don't fall for scams i'm pretty good at like being able to tell if it's a scam or not but this one because i think he grabbed me you know he just like grabbed me and he's like let's go you gotta go you gotta follow me and he like was really aggressive with it you know so i like went along with it but i didn't get scammed i didn't fall for it um meaning i didn't buy a new ticket so I got that going for me. And um, yeah, I'm gonna finish up on my computer right now. It's already nine and I'm gonna go to sleep because tomorrow I head to PSAC over the mountain and down into the valley where the familia is at. I'm super excited to see everybody and um, reconnect with some of the parts that I left behind there. It'll be great. For now, good night. And as always, thanks for following along. Um, 
following along my in my day, I guess. You know, I'm not really sure what it is I do. I just have fun with this and I like sharing my my thoughts and my days. And it feels good to look back at my videos and see how far I've come. So got that going for me. Anyways, this is it.